In this video, I'm gonna show you how a single spreadsheet is helping us to attract more leads to our SEO agency and increase our proposal close rate by 62%. Yes, I know these are very big claims, so you better stick around to see if I'm full or not. Stay tuned. I know, I know, the hook to this video is so good that you're dying to know what the spreadsheet is, so let's just show it to you. It's what we call the traffic projection tool. It's built in Google Sheets, and what it does is it pulls in data from a prospect's Google Analytics and SEMrush account to run a bunch of different growth scenarios to show them the impact of SEO on their website. The spreadsheet does all the heavy lifting by pulling in the data, running a couple of different growth scenarios based on the website's past performance, based on our performance as agencies, and then also going out there and scraping the market to see what competitors are doing to see what the total addressable market is for an SEO campaign. We then built this Google Data Studio dashboard to push all this data into charts and visuals so it's easy to understand, easy to digest, even for prospects who don't really know SEO that well. So now that you have a little context for the tool, let's jump in and talk some of the details. I've got that out of the way. I feel like I can breathe a little bit. I don't have to prove everything to you guys anymore. And I can actually get into the meat of this presentation. I really want to cover three things and keep this video quick and to the point. Number one is how do we fit this into our overall process? Where does this go? Do we run this for existing clients? Do we do this for prospects and proposals? I'm going to show you all that, how we work this into our process seamlessly and easily uh, to close more deals and attract more leads. Number two, how does it work? Where does the data come from? How do I run this? Is this accurate and everything in between? I'm going to show you that. And then finally, I'm going to you some use cases about how we use it to generate more leads on the front end about how we're using it to convert more website traffic into qualified leads and then how we're using it in our proposals to close a lot more deals so let's start off with how this fits into our overall process now for those of you who are familiar and blueprint members with our overall seo process uh, this is it again this is what we cover in the full blueprint training but really where the traffic projection tool lives right here is in between marketing and sales we use this both to attract people in as a really really good offer as opposed to just going out and say hey get a free proposal or hey get a free quote or free estimate people don't really want that unless they're deep in your funnel and they're already highly interested in hiring you because then they care about your opinion your analysis but before that for cold traffic for people who have no idea who you are we use this as a much better offer to bring people in and i'm going to show you that in a little bit when we talk about how we used to generate leads but really this lives right in between marketing and sales again we're using it as a tool to bring people in and then we're using it in our proposal process to close deals if we look even deeper at our sales process again this is what we cover all throughout the blueprint training we do our consultations we do our analysis and then we'll also do our projections this projection part is so important again because what we need to do is we need to show them that their investment is safe that if they give us five thousand dollars in terms of a retainer that we are going to return more than five thousand dollars in terms of traffic and sales it's marketing 101 yet so many seo agencies don't do this and instead of answering the question of what can i expect from working with you they say it depends and that it depends is costing you millions of dollars in revenue in this very simple spreadsheet which you can get access to if you ask me nicely will help you to solve that problem right away on your next proposal that's where this tool fits into our process again we use it during the sales process this allows us to get access to prospects analytics ask questions and also make sure that they're qualified for us to spend the time doing this analysis but once we have this Let's talk a little bit more about how it works. Let's talk about the technical side behind it because this is a little bit more complicated. Quick, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post weekly content only for my subscribers like links to my private Slack channel, office hours, and free access to marketing templates and tools. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell. Within this spreadsheet, it literally explains everything from what's in it to how to analyze it to how to run it. But I'm just going to take a quick moment here and run you through it because it will help drive even more context for how valuable this thing is. Is and how accurate it really is as well so again what we do the first thing that we do is we pull in data from a prospects google analytics account what this does is it gives us access to historical data we can see how the website is trending up trending down how it's performed in the past what keywords it's ranking for and we can build a pretty accurate picture of where that website is going in 12 months with no seo intervention and the reason why this is important for us is because if a website is losing traffic this becomes very easy to show a prospect that hey if you keep doing what you're doing you're going to keep going down you're going to keep losing money it's a very powerful tactic to then insert your pitch for sales right there alone but we're not done here because we want to get more data too so we also want to look at 
growth of a potential campaign. So how do we do that? Well, two things. We look at the website's past performance, number one, and then we insert our own projections as well. So us as consultants, as agencies, we have a track record. We have a history, especially if you're working in your position properly and you're working with the same type of client, you're going to have a pretty good idea of how you would impact in terms of running your services, in terms of traffic, growth, or incremental increases. You now get the opportunity to put that in here to add our own flavor to these growth projections. Now, again, that's still not enough because what we also want to do is we want to understand the true potential, the total addressable market of a website. So how do we do that? Well, we look at competitors. We see what keywords they're ranking for that the prospect is not ranking for. And then we can figure out the gaps in traffic and then apply that to this website as well. So now we have a couple of models that are floating around. Number one is historical performance or doing nothing. Number two is us coming in and doing a little bit of SEO work to improve the existing keywords of the website. And then number three is looking at the total addressable market in terms of what is the total impact that we could drive if we're able to go out and create new pages and new content and go after new keywords. So all this data is pulled in via Supermetrics, which is an add-on that you can use. It pulls it in from analytics. SEMrush or Ahrefs, whichever one you prefer. And then it runs all sorts of different growth models in this spreadsheet. You have to do nothing aside from fill out this one tab. Then again, we teach you how to connect it to this Data Studio report. So that way you don't have to just look at a spreadsheet. You can look at all these beautiful charts and graphs and really show a prospect easily what they can expect from working with you. So again, just coming back to the PDF view of this, these are all the different views that we can look at their current traffic if they do nothing, right? So this website is losing 11% traffic year over year. How much traffic increase they could expect if we were to come in as an agency and improve on the existing keywords that they have, 22%. And then a look at new keyword growth. So again, looking at their competitors, this is also very powerful, that comparison, if you will, to show them all the money and all the traffic that their competitors are getting that they're missing out on. They're missing out on an increase of 6,000% almost just by creating new content and going after new keywords and then a total growth rate of everything added. And then again, of course, we go down and we break these charts down individually again so they can see and we can really talk to and harp on the different points of this if you will to point to the fact that hey if you keep doing nothing you're going to keep losing money if you come if we come in and do some very basic seo then we can write the ship oh by the way look at all the traffic that's out there look at all the traffic that your competitors are getting and then if we add this all together look at the massive impact that we can have so now you know where it fits in, you know how it works. Now let's talk about use cases. Let's talk about how you can use this to make money for your agency. So these are a few ways that our agency is using this right now. So like I said, we are using this as a front end marketing and acquisition tool to bring in leads. This is working very well for us. We are literally, this is a screenshot of our Facebook ads account. We have spent $5,300 just about and generated 48 analyses, people that are coming to us and saying, Hey, I want you to run this tool for us on our behalf, because I don't know what the future of my website looks like. And if you can help me out, that's very valuable to me. So yes, even though I've never seen you before, I'm interested in having a conversation with you. That's how powerful this tool is. We've literally are getting leads for $110 each for booked phone call appointments with a sales representative at our agency. I'm not going to break this down in detail here because we have a ton of training on how we're running ads to generate leads for our agency, but this is the front end offer that we're running. And just a quick word of advice there. If your ads are not generating leads for your agency, it's because your offer sucks because nobody cares about your SEO service. It's always about them, not about us. This is an offer that puts it back on them, not on us. Again, going back to this fact of running an ad saying, hey, get a free analysis. That's about us, not about them. They don't care about a free analysis until they want that free analysis, until they've determined that you you are trustworthy, you are reputable, and you can actually help. This is a way to show that you can help. And again, you can take this and steal this and run this in your own ads, run it all you want. All you got to do is get access to this tool. Again, you got to ask me nicely and I'll give it to you absolutely free and it's free to run. So that's number one. We're using this to attract more attention and more leads. So this is just piggybacking off of this, but we're also using this to convert more traffic into leads. Again, just going back to this concept that every agency is out there running an analysis or a strategy session or a free proposal or a free quote. Until a prospect has identified that you are their solution, that is not a good offer for them. But running this traffic projection tool gives them an offer that they care about. It's us saying, hey, I understand how scary and how uh, important SEO is, but you have no idea what you're getting. Here's a free tool. Here's a simple conversation that we can have to show you the impact of SEO. Oh, by the way, if this is favorable, then we can have a conversation to further that and show you how we can impact that. And that's exactly how we're using it. We're using it as a means to pull down their guard, right? Because people are coming in saying, oh, like I'm skeptical about SEO. I don't even know if it's even going to work. Well, okay, let's run this analysis based on your competitors and your keywords and show you where you are now 
versus where you could be. Here's where you are, here's where you could be. Once they see the potential impact, the keywords that they are validating saying, yes, that's a good keyword, that's a good keyword. And we're saying, okay, these are all your keywords. Would you agree? Yes, these are our keywords. This is all the volume. This is all your potential. This is all your competitors. Here's all the information that you need to understand that SEO is a great investment for your business. And then their guard comes down on that. And the next question is, well, okay, can you do it? Oh yeah, I can, because here's 50 case studies. Here's uh, a ton of testimonials. Here's our process. Let me show you everything that it takes to get these results. You're having a sales conversation and they don't even know it, right? They come in here because they need something for them. You validate them for them you pull the guard down, right? And then you can go into starting to see your pitch about how you can actually help them to achieve these results. The thing here is that if you're having conversations about a business and about their SEO, good things are going to happen. Whether they know that it's a sales conversation or not, that's where you come in. That's where your expertise, that's where your salesmanship needs to come in to show them that, again, this is where they are, this is where they could be, and here's how you can help them get there. Now, the final piece of this is all about closing high ticket proposals. So what we actually put in every single one of our proposals, what we teach in the blueprint training is to include a traffic projection in here. And the reason why this is so many important is for a number of reasons. Number one is that so many SEO agencies are uncomfortable charging more. They are scared to charge more uh, because they're looking at what their competition is doing. I can't charge more than $1,500 a month for contractors because uh, I'm pricing myself out of the market. No, you're thinking about it the wrong way. This is why this is so important because SEO has been commoditized and a lot of prospects are comparing the $1,500 retainer against another $1,500 retainer. You need to break away from that conversation. How do you do that? By focusing on output by focusing on results and what they are going to get as a result of your service, not what they are getting included in your service. Let me say that again. You need to focus on what they are getting as a result of your services, not what they are getting as included in your services. Too many SEO agencies are out here selling the shovel and not the hole. Hey, we do keyword research. Hey, we're going to do link building. Hey, we're going to do content. They don't, that doesn't matter. What matters to them is traffic and sales. Can you do that? And can you show me that? Is this a good investment for my business? Too many SEOs are, you're like employees. You're just out here trying to do a job, check off a list. I did this, I did this, I did this. It's a to-do list. No, you're working with business owners. They care about growth. They care about making money. You need to show them how you're going to make them money. And this is the easiest, the fastest, and the most accurate way to do so. So when we talk about converting proposals, once you actually have the opportunity to pitch, this will be the mechanism that shows them what they can expect as a result of working with you. And then you also fill in your case studies. You fill in your process, all these things. Again, we talk about this in our sales module, ad nauseum. If you guys want access to it, just drop a comment below and I'll get you access to it because I walk you through everything that you need to cover during the sales and proposal process to convert a prospect. But what this also allows you to do is charge a lot more. Let me give you an example. Going back to that $1,500 a month for a contractor. That's like the standard cost for a roofing contractor that people want to charge. However, if you go to them and you say, Look, I know other people are charging you $1,500 a month. Let me show you why. But instead of leading with your pricing and leading with your costs, you lead with the results. You show them how many leads they can expect from working with you. You understand how much that lead is worth to them. You convert that into the amount of customers that they can expect. Once you have their revenue, like you can see, like we have in the slide down here, this is the exact slide that we use in our proposals. We show them the revenue that they can expect over a given time period from working with us. This one here shows them that they're going to make about $50,000 more a month just based on the keywords that we found during the proposal process from working with us, but we're only charging you 5,000. So what happens here? It's anchor. This is a concept that you SEO folks need to understand anchors. We need to anchor our price before we present it against a projected result. Let me say that again. We need to anchor our price and our cost against a future projected result. Otherwise, you are always going to be looked at as a commodity and a cost, and you're always going to be compared to a competitor. That $1,500 a month for contractors that they're comparing you against everyone else, instead of leading with that, instead of leading with your service, instead of saying, hey, I do SEO, you go to the contractor and you say, hey, I help drive revenue to your business. Here's how much you can expect based on the analysis that I did. Here's how much it's going to cost. SEO is relevant. Facebook ads is irrelevant. They don't care about that. They care about their end goal, their end result. These are the things why so many SEO agencies fail. These are the reasons why you're stuck. This is the reason why you're not converting proposals, why you're the reason why you're not generating leads because you don't understand what your customer cares about. And this is what we can help you with. This is the core of what we do here at the Blueprint Training. We help you understand 
what it is that you do, who it has you help, and how you can create an offer that will make them feel stupid for not working with you. And this is part of the process. Hopefully you can see that. If you can go to someone and you can accurately forecast and showcase what they can expect in terms of business results from working with you, then you can charge whatever you want as long as it's within that means, as long as you live within that margin, right? And maybe you're having imposter syndrome because you don't feel like you can drive that much of a result. Well, if that's the case, then you need to come talk to us because we can help you do that. Maybe you're having imposter syndrome because you feel like you can't charge more. This is one of the ways that we can help you to do that. These are all the things that when you put together, this is how you get momentum and as an agency this is how you break through to the next level this is how you stop being commodity and you start being the most sought after consultant or agency in your space i can help you to do all that i do it every day i do it myself and i do it with all of our clients as well if you're interested in learning more about this as i said drop me a comment below i'll get you access to this tool directly and i would love to have a conversation with you and your agency about how we can help you grow with all of these things not just through a traffic projection tool not just through sales but through everything we have an entire system that is going to help you grow like wildfire so if you're interested drop me a comment and we'll chat hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoy this tool and i'll see you in the next one peace out y'all